folks, Canadian Prepper here. So today we're going to draw for the Tack Bar Survival Food Rations. And uh, just to give you a heads up, I'm going to be doing a major series of videos in the next couple weeks here. I've already done them. I'm going to be posting them in the next couple weeks. And they're about uh, female perspectives on emergency preparedness. Basically, I interview six female YouTubers who define themselves uh, in some manner as preppers, survivalists, homesteaders. And they answer all sorts of questions about uh, all the stuff that we enjoy discussing on this channel. So you're definitely not going to miss this one. This is probably one of the more insightful videos I've done from a practical standpoint. So I strongly recommend you tune in for this. And I know 90% of the subscribers on my channel are male. I think that's pretty much, you know, the going statistic for most preparedness channels. So enlighten yourself and enrich yourself with a female perspective on things in the next couple weeks here and I really would like to get these uh, females channel some exposure because I for one enjoy uh, listening to their perspectives on the things that typically we men like to talk about anyways uh, enough with that let's uh, get to the review here so I'm gonna use a random YouTube comment picker and just enter this into the search bar here this totally randomizes it because there's no possible way in hell that I can count these anymore. There was a time when only 20 people would, you know, leave a comment and participate in these. I could pull a rabbit out of the hat and see who won, but now it's just too complicated. So here we go. Randomly select a winner, and the winner is Rockland's Farm. Really like your reviews. This would be my grab bag or ration box. If I could not shelter in place, it looks small, light, and easy to carry. I might put one ration bar in my EDC bag for emergencies. Well, you are the winner. I'm not sure if it's a male or female, but congratulations to you. Uh, whoever didn't win this contest, which is probably a thousand people, go and partake in the more recent contest that I did with a 30-day emergency food supply. That's from NutraStore and Brighton Solutions, and that one's worth about three times as much as this. Now, I don't want to be one of these giveaway whores who's just, you know, doing countless giveaways in order to get subs. I don't want subscribers on the basis of these giveaways, which is why it's no longer a requirement that I state when I do these, these giveaways, because uh, I don't want people just subscribing for free stuff. That's not fair to the people who've, you know, been here for a long period of time and, you know, leave insightful comments. And those are the people I'd like to see benefit from these giveaways. But my whole philosophy now is that if I'm going to do a gear review, I'm going to try my darndest to get another unit from a company in addition to the test unit, because usually with food in particular, I'm going to be eating some of it or I'm going to be putting the uh, unit, whatever it might be, through a lot of tests. So by the time if you were to get that one and factoring in all the shipping costs that I would incur, it's just not worth me or you uh, partaking in that. So. Uh, I'm trying to get into a system where I offer a company to do a review, a fair review of course, no strings attached as always. I always do unbiased reviews and I always point out the cons if there is any. And uh, basically they have to provide, you know, depending on the price of the unit, something for you guys to take home as well. So I think that that's a fair way to do it and it's a way that we all benefit including the manufacturer of these products, which are usually small businesses. Anyways, I strongly recommend for all of my after the collapse type viewers, you're definitely going to want to tune in the next couple weeks for some epic interviews with uh, YouTube female preppers. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Congratulations to Rockland's Farm. All the best to you and yours. Take care, Canadian Prepper out. Check out the Canadian Preppers Network blog, an excellent resource for survivalists and preppers.